To create a survey, if you have admin access, just go to the admin panel through the uh, side menu just here. Then go to surveys and click on new survey, create a new survey. So I have started to fill in a new survey here. So first thing you need to do is add your title. Then you can start to add your questions. Now, the way that you structure your questions, you can have different sections if you would like to. So you just put in a section name just like this, and then it will add a section. And then when you go to the bottom of the page, you can see you can add a new section. So this is up to you. Then you can add four different types of questions within surveys. So single answer, multiple answer, scale and free text. So this is a single answer question just here. So it's only got uh, one answer um, that you can choose. Then you've got multiple answers, so they can tick more than one answer. Uh, scale, so they can uh, decide on a number just here. So you can pick one to five or one to 10, it's up to you. You can also add some labels to that. So high, low, it could be a uh, poor experience or great experience as an example. Uh, and then you've got free text, so they can type in a sentence, uh, or uh, add a paragraph of text um, talking about uh, whatever it is that you need them to answer. What you can also do is you can move the questions up or down in order just by ticking the arrows and you can select whether or not this question is required to be uh, answered by the end user as well. If you make a mistake just click the X to uh, delete the answer and then uh, add a different one or you can just simply edit the text. And the last thing you can do is you can decide whether or not you want to use the sections to structure your uh, questions so that you can um, link to a different section or link to a different answer depending on what the answer is. So I'll just show you what that looks like. So what I've done here is I've just changed uh, the logic a little bit. So to the first question, would you recommend this learning experience to a colleague? If they say yes, it will go straight to the next question to understand why they would recommend it. If they said no, I've I did a new uh, question just here where they need to uh, explain why they wouldn't recommend it. Um, and they can do that using some free text. So this way they skip the second question and they go straight to the uh, third question here before moving on. You can also do this with um, the section. So you could have all of your uh, different questions in sections and it could be that section B, for example, has this why wouldn't you uh, recommend a topic? Um, and if they had said um, yes and they'd filled in um, uh, yes here, they could skip to the, the section that doesn't have that question in it. Um, so that's just an example of how that works there. And then the next uh, page will just show you how you can set the visibility um, and various settings for the survey just here. So I'm just going to change some of these settings. So I don't want all users to be able to see if they if they have permission, uh, so they're in the community or they have the topic. Um, and I don't want users to access just by having the link. But what I do want to happen uh, for this one is I want users to be able to um, see this survey once they've completed learning. So I'm going to select the learning that I want them to complete. Office etiquette topic, select. And then you can change the text that shows up once um, this topic is complete. So it's their call to action. You can decide how many attempts user, users are allowed to complete the survey. Uh, and you can also decide whether you would like their responses to be anonymous or not. Um, and then you can set the uh, user access level. So you can say all users have access. Um, you can manually add users to the list or you can assign uh, by role if you would like to do it that way. Uh, and then you can also restrict user access. So if you want to just manually restrict certain users, you can do that, um, or you can just leave it as no restrictions. Then you can add an introduction message to the user and a completion message. Um, yeah, so this is basically how you set your settings. Once you've filled in everything, just click save. Now I've saved my survey. You can see that it's listed as a draft at the moment. So uh, in here, I can go back into the survey and edit it, make a copy of it, archive it, uh, change the access levels or delete it. But what I'm going to do is publish it. So now it's available for those that have completed that topic to actually complete it. So let's see what it looks like. 
So here you can see I have finished my topic, I've completed the content within it uh, and my assessment within it, and now I can complete a survey. So I'm just going to fill this in. And you can also add some final thoughts.